saying hello to Uncle Dylan. That's Garrett's brother. Garrett's our father. Five weeks old yesterday. But they're using the water. You see right there. They learned that on their own. So they're doing well. And they're going out and mixing with the sheep too. So we'll get them weaned. We'll bring them back down. They just grow up here. He's coming. Breakfast time. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, here. Puppy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh. They're officially on dry kibble today. It's soaked, but we finished the canned food yesterday and they're doing really well on it. And you were five weeks old two days ago on Wednesday. Kibble's bulkier, so they can't, you know, they fill up a little sooner, so. But that's good. They're getting their fill. Good boy. And they go over and they toilet themselves away from the feeding pan. <clears throat> and we're on a three times a day feeding schedule. Got them this morning, it's about 8 o'clock, and then we'll do another feeding at noon and another one late in the afternoon, 4 or 5 o'clock. And uh, we'll slowly reduce the amount of water. <clears throat> by next week they'll be on predominantly dry food because they're starting to chew now <laughs> so they just swallow and uh, then when we wean them <clears throat> still feed them in a the pan then we'll switch them over to the automatic feeder although you can see a puppy over there they have actually been going in there I don't know if they're eating anything but they've been up in the feeder and then they go down to the water now too on their own they learned that on their own this week and they'll go down and drink out of that water. We also have a <coughs> water pan in here that we plug in so it doesn't freeze. And we fill it every time we come down and it's usually empty when we come back. They're drinking a good amount of water, which is what we want. Puppies just finished eating. They're showing a bit more independence. Usually they eat, play a little bit, and then they take a nap. But it's a nice day here. You can see uh, that's one I'm more keeping. Her name is Champagne because of her coloring. She just came down here to the feeder, fell asleep. Um, <clears throat> one there, a couple there, a couple over there. Nice sunny day. So they're uh, getting more independent and exploring and learning. So. They're doing well. They change from week to week, just their developmental and, you know, mentally, physically. Uh, they're now entering where they're in the, quote, fighting stage. They kind of bite each other like that one's starting there. <coughs> and uh, they bite really hard. <coughs> Any of the other puppy bites back or they um, cry and that teaches them not to bite so hard. So that's where they learn bite inhibition. So that's why you don't want to get a puppy from a breeder before probably eight weeks because they learn that bite inhibition from oh, from about five weeks to six or seven weeks. You see one just went in there. They know the water bowl's in there. So it's important to have plenty of fresh water for them. And we raised that because some of them were, they were climbing over, but not all of them were making it over. So they're old enough now they can stay out <clears throat> and that barrier keeps the sheep out. So uh, this area here is where they're sleeping now most of the time. So now they are defecating back in here because uh, instinctually they don't defecate in their bed. They go away. So they're doing really well. March 1st and uh, 
We've had mild spring, so grass is starting to come up. So we're constructing just a small, either at the corner where we got it, it goes over to the corner there, and then comes over to the corner there. So just a small paddock area in here for the second feeder. And so they'll essentially be in dry lot. Um, they have been grazing the new grass out there and uh, it's early enough I don't think there's any parasite issue but we don't want that and especially with the baby lambs when they come we're gonna keep them in dry lot till they're all ready to go to pasture and uh, the rule is you want the grass to be at least 8 to 10 inches tall and then they graze half so about 4 or 5 inches of it and then you move them to a fresh paddock every two days or so that way it stimulates grass growth number one and it reduces the parasite load so they're going to be in dry lot and that'll give this grass out here you can just see a little hint of green but they've been cropping that off so uh, we want to keep them off of all that and just let that grow up um, i don't know if this will get tall enough by the time it's time to turn them out or they may go on down that section down there but uh, anyway that's the arrangement and then this is also a small pen <clears throat> that will train the puppies on the fence the fence is a little high right now for puppies we could move it down one but I'm hoping that by the time they're eight weeks old or nine weeks after we wean them we're gonna keep them up in the barn for two or three weeks, maybe till the end of April. Then bring them down, they're gonna be high enough that they will see that bottom wire and then they'll uh, be trained to electric fence down here. So, beautiful day today. It's in the low 30s, sunshine. Uh, a little bit of a breeze out of the southwest, but it's a pretty beautiful day.